everyone, and welcome to the Ultimate Beginner Guide to Fighting. This will be a fantastic guide for those of you who are new to fighting and are wondering what you need to do to actually improve. And even if you are a bit more experienced than most people, I'm sure you'll still find some value. Anyway, let's get straight into the video. Alright, if you're new, you definitely have to listen to this because this is probably the most important tip I can give you. And that tip is trying every character. Now what I would personally do is join either a public or a private server, preferably a private, and I would use every single character starting from Sword all the way down to Coil and just trying them out, you know, trying the abilities, seeing how they work, and all of that. Now if you're still wondering why this tip is so important, it's basically just because you'll be able to find your main, and you'll also know how to counter these fighters better when you go against them in game. Also, a quick little tip I'll give you, if you click on the icons right here, you can see that it gives you a brief description of what that ability does, which I personally think is a great feature if you're new to fighting. So now let's discuss, how do you find your main? I won't be going into too much detail here since I'll probably make a separate video on this topic, but I would suggest most people watching this to only have one to two mains. And the reason I say you should only have one to two mains is simply because three or more mains, especially when you're new to the game, is going to be really overwhelming and of course, that's not what we want. Now there's two methods that I would recommend when it comes to getting your mains. The first one is choosing two fighters that you actually enjoy using. So once you have a bit more experience playing the game, find the two fighters that you enjoy using the most and just main them. Whereas the other method is you choosing two mains that you're actually good with. Again, I'm probably going to make a separate video on this topic, but for now, this is just a beginner guide, and I just want to keep it really simple for y'all. But again, whichever method you choose doesn't really matter. As long as you just have two mains, you're good to go. Alright, so this is a bit of an underrated part in my personal opinion, but basically, it's just doing your research. Specifically, on the fighters that you're trying to main, you really want to make sure you understand the mechanics of them, and just how to use them overall. Now I have a sword guide on the channel that you guys can check out if you want to. I'll leave it down in the description. But again, really do make sure you're checking out the guides on YouTube. There's really, really nice guides on certain characters, and I just highly recommend that you check them out. Okay, so this next tip is very important, especially if you're new. So the tip is learning the maps. Yep. That's it. Now you're probably wondering, how do I learn the maps? Well, it's quite simple actually. All you really need to do is just go into your private server and just casually explore the maps, look at different routes you can take. Maybe even 1v1 a friend in your private, I do that all the time. But really, there's just a bunch of different ways you can go about this. You can just mess around, do whatever, you know what I'm saying? Have fun with it. But really do try and understand the different routes you can take on the map, like the left, the middle, the right, because there's so much of this game than just the characters. And one more tip I'll give you is if you type in slash force, and then whatever map you went after that, it'll actually load the map. And it's really cool, actually. You can even do like secret maps that aren't even in the game, which I personally think is very, very cool. All right, so this tip actually ties into learning about the maps. And this tip is none other than positioning. Now, I do want to keep this video rather simple considering it is a beginner guide and positioning is a whole video on its own. So we're just going to we're going to keep it kind of simple to understand. Now, let me give you a very simple example. Let's say you're playing as Biograft or as Sword and you're trying to flank. Assuming you took the last tip seriously and you really understood a lot of the maps in the game. You will know that there's three different main routes on each map. You got the left the middle, and the right. However, while that is true, there's also separate areas on the left, middle, and right side that you can take. So you don't have to just go straight down the middle, or straight in the left side, or straight in the right side. And it's really good if you want to take like a shortcut, or you just want to have better positioning overall. And trust me, as a flanker, you really need to know all these like small spots, and not just like the big spots, because you can get a lot of the enemy team's backline off guard just because you know certain spots that they might not know and then you can exploit that weakness and then basically it's GG's. They're not going to do anything, right? Now I know a lot of you guys aren't going to be flankers 
but that's just a specific example for them. So instead, let's say you're a ranged character such as Hyper. Hyper is actually a very interesting character because he actually requires a lot of cover, unlike a lot of other characters. And we will be going into cover in a bit, but basically, Hyper is just a really difficult fighter to use when it comes to positioning. Simply because if you stay in the same spot, you know what's going to happen, right? You're going to get destroyed. And if you're still not following, it's basically because Hyper needs to switch his spot every like, I don't know, every like 30 seconds to a minute just because if you don't do that, the enemy team's going to be like, wait a minute, this Hyper's still in the same spot, right? So they're just going to go over to you and just basically kill you. And again, when it comes to flanking, like you will start to memorize the maps once you actually play more. So yeah, pretty much it just comes from experience. And look, I can't go over every single character when it comes to positioning, but really, just play the game more, go to your private server, learn how to get to certain spots with certain characters, and I promise you, it's not as hard as you think it is. Really, it just comes from experience. Alright, so this is going to be the most controversial tip, but I'm going to just say it anyway. Cover is not that important. Now, before you go to my comments and type the biggest essay of your life, give me a second, all right? Look, fighting isn't necessarily a game based on cover. It's more so meant for you to actually rely on your abilities to escape. And not only that, hold up, let me cook here. As we all know, fighting is a team based game. So you need to learn how to play around your team. And there's another way you can think of that. Basically, think of your own team as the cover. I know, it sounds wild, I don't blame you. But the more you think about it, a lot of the fights do happen in the open. Now, I'm not saying you won't ever need cover, but this game is very different from, let's say, Overwatch, in the sense that you constantly need cover. Now, again, since most fights are in the open, you're gonna need to be in the open to get a lot of value or kills. And of course, I'm referencing to mostly closer range characters when I say this. So if you're like going wild because I'm saying, oh, be in the open as a hyper laser. No, that's not what I'm saying. This is mostly advice for characters like the melee characters who need to get like really close. Like genuinely, please, I beg of you, do not go into the open as a hyper. You're just gonna get yourself killed. I mean, please do not do that. But pretty much, if you're going to take anything from this last part, just remember this. Cover is great for healing, especially if you're low. And do remember, a lot of the fighters have way more HP than you actually realize. Like, genuinely, please go take a look. It's actually quite surprising. Like, even the supports have a lot of HP. Let me tell you, it's actually wild. Finally, we have aiming, and I'm gonna be for real on this one. Aiming can be very difficult, especially if you're new to the game. So the advice I'd personally give is genuinely just play the game more. And I know some of you guys are probably upset in just hearing that because, you know, it's very basic advice. Everyone knows this. But if you really want another piece of advice, I'd say just go play other games such as Arsenal, Phantom Forces, just like other shooter games in general on Roblox. At this point, you know what, actually, scratch that. At this point, just go play Overwatch, you know what I'm saying? Get your aim better from there and then just come back here. But um, if you have watched to the end, I will give you guys a little secret. There was this game I used to play called Aim Blocks, and let me tell you, that game is actually good. Like, I'm not even joking, when I used to play Arsenal, I would warm up in Aim Blocks, and I, bro, I'm not even joking my aim would get so much better. It's actually wild. So if you want the link to aim blocks, I will leave it down below. And yeah, feel free to check it out. I highly recommend it. And with that, that's gonna do it for today. Again, thank you all for watching. If you have any suggestions or questions about the video, feel free to comment down below. But with that, I'll see you all in the next one. See ya.